Good evening and welcome to the service of Calm Plan or Night Prayer. My name is Karen. I'm one of the priests at St. Paul's Bloor Street and it is great to have you joining me this evening. And this is Loki who also likes to join us for Calm Plan. Uh, if you would like to follow along with the order of service, you can find that in the video description. And otherwise, you're welcome to simply pray this service silently with me and that's fine. Uh, before we start, I've got a bit of an announcement. So I'm going to be going on leave for most of the summer, uh, starting June 18th. So I will be away for a lot of the summer and we won't be offering Compline while I'm away. So I look forward to picking it up again when I get back. Um, and I wanted to say something about this Compline community because it really has felt like a community. Despite the fact that I'm recording it by myself, I have had so many messages from people watching it and um, people joining me on Wednesday evenings that it has never felt like I'm doing this on my own. It's been with all of you. And I just love that. Um, there's a group of people who join me every Wednesday evening as we pray it together at uh, 7 p.m. But then there's a lot more people who watch this on your own time at a different point in the week. Um, this service tends to get between 60 and 80 views every week. So I know that there's a bunch of you out there watching and it is beautiful to think that God knows this little community of ours. We may never get a chance to all worship together physically in person, but we've been worshiping together spiritually in person for the past year. And I think that's just lovely. Compline was one of the very first things that drew me to Anglicanism in the first place. I'm from a non-denominational background, and I always found it a beautiful service. And it's been just a delight to share it with you over the past year and a bit. So look forward to picking it up again in the fall. And meanwhile, let's pray one final service of Compline together. Let's quiet our hearts and still our minds and come before the presence of our loving God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. O most blessed light and lamp of souls, dwelling in light inaccessible, yet enlightening everyone who comes into the world, light that shines in the darkness and that the darkness cannot overcome. Send out your light and your truth to lead us and bring us into your presence. In your kindly yet piercing light, let us see ourselves and know what needs forgiveness, what is cause for thanksgiving, and what resolve will leave us better prepared to know and serve you tomorrow. Amen. I invite you to take this time, uh, these few moments of stillness, to go over the day that is past. Receive each thing, small or great, which has brought you joy from the hand of Jesus, and lift your heart to him in thanksgiving. Try to understand each sorrow and each pain, and ask Jesus to show you how to use it as part of his cross for your own growth and for the redemption of the world. Confess each failing and sin humbly and honestly, and ask for the forgiveness that Jesus longs to give in this time of silence. And now praying together, O merciful Jesus, ever present and with a heart ready to receive all who come to you weary and heavy laden, give us a spirit of sincere repentance, a strong hope in your mercy, and a lasting desire to grow in virtue and to walk in your way. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And now, the traditional Compline hymn. 
Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonor my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvelous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who makes me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening is from 1 John, chapter 3, verses 13 to 24. 1 John 3, 13 to 24. Do not be surprised, my brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love each other. Anyone who does not love remains in death. Anyone who hates a brother or a sister is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life residing in him. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. If anyone has material possessions, possess possessions and sees a brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. This is how we know that we belong to the truth, and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence. If our hearts condemn us, we know that God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Dear friends, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God and receive from him anything we ask because we keep his commands and do what pleases him. And this is his command, to believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and to love one another as he commanded us. The one who keeps God, God's commands lives in him and he in them. And this is how we know that he lives in us. We know it by the spirit he gave us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now moving on to the responsories. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon, beginning and ending with the refrain. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. For our prayers this evening, I will lead us in a prayer, an evening prayer from this book, the SPCK Book of Christian Prayer. And this is by Kate McGill, McGill Haga. Let's pray. O oh Jesus, King of the poor, shield this night those who are imprisoned without charge and those who have disappeared. Cast a halo of your presence around those who groan in sorrow and those who groan in pain. Protect those whose livelihoods are threatened. Encourage those forbidden to worship. Encompass your little ones who have gone hungry to sleep, cold and fitfully waking. Guide your witnesses for peace. Safeguard your workers for justice. Encircle us with your power. Encompass us with your grace. Embrace your dying ones. Support your weary ones. Calm your frightened ones. And as the sun scatters the mist on the hills, bring us to a new dawn when all shall freely sit at table in your kingdom, rejoicing in a God who saves them. Amen. And now closing with a collect before we move on. Lord Jesus, into your arms we now commend ourselves this night. We will lay us down in peace if you speak peace to us through Jesus Christ. May our last thoughts be of you. And when we wake, may your spirit bring heavenly things to our mind. Pardon the imperfections of our prayers. Supply what we have omitted to ask for and do for us exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think for the merits of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And once again, those were from this SPCK Book of Christian Prayer. And now praying the collect. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. And now let's pray together the prayer that Jesus taught his friends and his followers to pray that sums up all the other prayers. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Christ, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And a blessing, uh, this is from Ephesians, it's the same blessing we used last week. 
I pray that out of God's glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his Holy Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among each of you and remain with you tonight and this week and this summer and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a good summer and I will see you, see you when I get back. Take care.